So to move on to Apex Lofts then, the development, uh, hopefully a lot of you here are, are here to, uh, to learn about. So just to talk about its location, you'll see there on the left, uh, we've highlighted Apex Lofts uh, location at the bottom of the screen. Um, we've talked on most of those there, but Smithfield's market, the regeneration there, you're circa four to 500 meters away from that. Um, from the Bull Ring, for those of you that know the Bull Ring, biggest retail uh, operation here in Birmingham at the moment, you're just 900 meters away from that. Uh, we've touched on Curzon Street Station, which will obviously be the HS2 station. Uh, you're 600 meters away from there. And again, Birmingham New Street, which is UK's second uh, busiest train station, again, circa 900 meters from the development. So everything you see within Birmingham there is, 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 is within a 20 minute walk. Um, and when the tram, tram goes in as well, um, it's gonna be even easier to commute. So really, it's a great location um, to invest in. Uh, Digbeth, like I said, have got a massive uh, construction plan and the, the planners are pushing Digbeth as part of a regeneration area. So um, absolutely the place to invest in at the moment. Just to give you an overview of what the development one looks like, a left-hand side, but also what, what it's gonna consist of. So there's gonna be 80 uh, new build apartments uh, they're going to comprise of one beds, two beds, and on the top floor, some, some penthouses, which will be duplex. Um, there's going to be uh, a resident sky garden, which is quite unique for the city at the moment. Uh, there's going to be a, a resident. Um, and we're expecting this to be completed in quarter three, 2021. Prices are going to start from just 219,000. And that, just to give you an idea, uh, blends an average of around 400 pounds per square foot. And again, just to put that into some context, some of these developments, some of you will be aware of on the left side, uh, have all ranged from 430 to 450, 455. So we've got Timber Yard, which is uh, Galliard uh, International. They have been selling their, their Timber Yard scheme at 439 pounds a square foot. Um, the bank has been uh, retailing at 430. Um, Wharf, 448 pounds a square foot. So you can see we're, we're anywhere between five, six percent up to 10 percent cheaper than, than some of the other competitive uh, or competitor uh, buildings in the city. So we see this is really great uh, investment value at the moment. Just to run through some of the typical layout, a typical layout of a one bed. So um, as you can see here, we've got an open plan kitchen, uh, lounge and dining area. Uh, with some uh, windows and doors, uh, obviously looking out into the uh, external aspect. Storage space is a big thing that uh, I think over the years people have, have struggled with apartments. So you can see there we've got a utility room or area and also a storage cupboard. So plenty of, of, of room to put the, the shoes, golf clubs and, uh, and hoovers. Um, bedroom again, really good layout. Everything's, you know, because it's new build, they, you know, very user-friendly layouts. Um, so there's room for bedside tables, chests of drawers, uh, wardrobes, etc. You'll see there uh, some outside space on this, this example as well. Um, and again, really good size. So on average around 50 square metres. Uh, for those of you that still work, work in square footage, that's around 547. So complying with all minimum space requirements now um, that the uh, planners are requiring. So a typical example of a two bed, all the two beds come with two bed, two bathroom, which is ideal for sharers, which I think as an investor, um, a lot of the target market is probably sharers for the two beds. Um, if you can, again, understand uh, this might retail at 12, 1300 pounds per calendar month, actually to an individual, 600, 650 pounds per calendar month. And they've got their own bed, a bedroom, their own bathroom and obviously shared living space. So again, these are coming in at 70 square meters, 761 square feet, which again, really good size for a two bed in the city at the moment. As I mentioned, two bedroom, two bathroom. So this design is what's known as a dumbbell design. Bedrooms are on either side with access to a bathroom each. So again, they don't have to share the bathroom facilities, which again, for the high-end professionals that work in the finance sector, et cetera, um, it's what they've probably been used to in other cities and, and London and across the world. And then we move on to uh, what the duplexes will look like. So on the left-hand side, the, uh, the lower level of the, of the duplex. So you're coming through the main front door. Uh, you'll be greeted with, uh, again, open plan lounge, kitchen, dining area. There's also a kitchen island in that one, so you can, you can get a feel for the space. Um, each floor is going to be over almost 47 square metres. Uh, so really large sort of plates there. 
Uh, again, utility room, uh, uh, full, fully functional bathroom on the lower, lower level, and then stairs, which will lead you up to, uh, to the two bedrooms uh, with a bathroom in between. Uh, also storage cupboard, and you'll see these bedrooms are huge. Uh, they're almost like a suite. So, you know, plenty of room for uh, a bed, wardrobe, even chair in there, uh, study table, things like that. So I think those are gonna be uh, really, really unique. And again, over a thousand square foot each one of those units. So um, gonna be really popular. There's only a few of those. So, uh, so yeah, we, we think those will be really popular. Uh, there's some CGI's of the development here, uh, again, who I haven't mentioned yet, who are uh, behind the development. Uh, their vision is key. We've worked with them on a, on a number of developments now and their finish uh, is very bespoke and upmarket. Um, you see there, it is very much tailored to the high-end professionals um, in the city centre. Just to the spec, so again, we, we are seeing this as a very high-end high spec. There's going to be designer kitchens and bathrooms solid stone worktops so there might be quartz or silestone but again it'll last the duration of the property um, whereas laminated worktops can can uh, can deteriorate over time especially if they're, they're in a rental agreement uh, AGE in terms of its appliances or similar so really high-end brand there and household household names for um for its appliances such as your fridge freezer your dishwasher your oven uh, microwave etc and um, candine or, or similar flooring so again very hard wearing um, for for the, for the duration uh, and durability and little, little things trying to future proof so wi-fi enabled panel heaters um, there's a few quirky things going in like that again to try and future proof the uh, the design and development there's a few cgis here to talk about the roof garden so again there's not many developments that have delivered a roof garden at the moment Again, coming into the city's area of Digbeth, uh, the, the community that it's trying to develop, um, I think things like this are going to be really key. So you can get a flavour there for what that what that rooftop um, garden area will look like. You know, you can socialise up there. You could uh, you can even exercise up there. The the gym is going to be up there. Um, you can socialise with friends, or you can discern. So really great area, and again, it's quite unique for the uh, for the city at the moment. So for those of you that have worked with us before Eccentric, uh, we have a dedicated new homes team, a uh, lot of experience in the team, which I'll come on to, but we can look after you from um, absolutely from this point in terms of off plan opportunities, right the way through to um, uh, completion, taking handover of the unit, uh, furnishing the property, uh, getting it let and managing that tenancy. So it's completely hands off uh, approach if you want that. Uh, Centric can take care of the whole process 360 degrees and hopefully just deliver you return on a, on a month. Um, also for the month of May, just to let you know, uh, we are offering free furniture packs with any of the properties that are sold or agreed in this period. So if you are interested and keen to uh, discuss and are in a position to make a decision, then there is the, uh, the option of a free furniture pack for, uh, for the month of May. So just to introduce the team a little bit, obviously I'm here, Andy Butts, um, Group Sales and Lettings Director. Uh, Christiana Platy is our new Homes Manager, and Stella also uh, has joined us to, um, to bolster our new Homes team. Um, we all have great experience. Christiana and Stella come from a new Homes background with nine, um, so you're in safe hands. Um, if you've got any queries, get in touch with any, any, any of us and we can, uh, we can help. Um, so that concludes the webinar. Um, I've put my details there so you can reach me by email, by phone or LinkedIn if you want to drop me a message on there. If you've got any questions or would like further information on the development, I'm happy to pick that up um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and go through that in more detail. But um, over to you really, Jack. Is there any questions coming or any feedback? Thanks, Andy. Yes, yeah, thanks very much. We have had a couple of questions in that I, I could hopefully put to you. One's from Jane, who's a domestic investor. Um, what are your thoughts on the mortgage market and how that's going to look uh, post lockdown and in the next in the coming months and years? Yeah, it's a really uh, commonly asked question at the moment. I actually did a, a bit of a webinar the other week on it with uh, someone we work with, Hitton from Visionary Finance. Uh, so Visionaries are uh, a big player in the off-plan market, the new homes market, and also the uh, international investment markets. So they deal with a lot of offshore uh, investors. Uh, sourcing uh, funding for the UK as well as local investors um, so yeah I mean their thoughts and our thoughts are very much the same I think um, the banks are in a really strong position 
whereas the last UK crash in 2007, 2008 was very much a, a financial crisis. Uh, this will pivot obviously more on jobs, but the banks are in great position. Uh, the, uh, the feedback from the banks that we're getting is they've all got the appetite to lend. They've obviously hit pause on, on most of their new business at the moment, but that's because they can't facilitate the amount of inquiries and admin that's happening. Also, they can't get surveyors into the property or until this week, couldn't get surveyors into properties. So they hit pause mainly on new business, but we think coming out of this and as, as restrictions ease, the mortgage market will revert back. The rates will be great. The Bank of England rate is the lowest it's seen in the history of, of that. So we think lending will be really strong uh, moving forward and you know the availability of, of great rates will, will, be, will be there with most lenders. Thanks, Andy. Um, pretty succinct and good answer there for everyone, hopefully. Uh, we do have one other question as well, which is from Chris, uh, which is, what's the rental market going to look like and, and how has it been through this lockdown? And it, do we see any massive changes on the horizon, I suppose? Yeah, again, another really commonly asked question at the moment from our investors in particular. So we, um, I think when this all started and we went into lockdown, we all thought that um, literally business would fall off a cliff. There'd be no inquiries. Um, we'd be, you know, twiddling our thumbs, looking at stuff to do, but actually it's been quite the opposite. Um, we've had a lot of demand from people that have had to move, uh, whether it be jobs, whether it be, you know, they're a key worker, they work in the NHS. Um, so we've had over, uh, coming close to 80 lets since lockdown. So uh, there's still a massive demand there at the moment and we're seeing a lot of pent up demand. So since the, um, the sort of government easing restrictions uh, 48 hours ago now almost, um, again, our inquiries have, have, have gone through the roof for people wanting to view. And I think also for people that have um, been in a property that maybe they didn't want to be in or were, were already intending on moving three months ago, um, it's been a long period. You know, three months is a you know, quarter of a year. So for people to be in a property that they're not enjoying or, you know, don't have a garden or isn't big enough for them, um, we're seeing all those pendant of inquiries coming through now. So we think the, the rental market will still be strong. Um, a lot of the stats we talked about won't really have changed as well. So, yeah, we're, we're predicting hopefully a really strong summer. Uh, summer's our strongest market in, in terms of its season anyway. So, yeah, I think the next few weeks will um, will gradually ease up. And then moving into June and July, you know, we we'll see some real, uh, real pent up demand coming through. Great. Well, thank you for that. And um, right. that actually just concludes the questions we've been asked. So uh, thank you, Andy, for Brilliant. hosting that webinar with me and uh, providing that information. No problem. And thank you all uh, for you for attending. Um, we're hoping to start this as a rather regular occurrence and provide more of these webinars uh, throughout the coming weeks and months of which obviously you'll have invitations to your email and we hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much.